What's up, Booner? What's up, buddy? As you can see, we are doing trash day, throwing a bunch of stuff out, putting a bunch of stuff in storage. Kind of a lazy Saturday today. Me and the fam are just gonna do a few odds and ends. See the, the key to throwing out trash is proper technique. I like to take my trash like this and just remember that shot right there. Works every time. And you always gotta take this like this too and get a good hand underneath of it. Something like this, kind of like a like a spear or something like my ancestors used to do when they were hunting buffalo. And then I gotta reach up and grab this piece. Colby. As you can see, I needed a rebounder here, but she's running the camera. Oh. All right, then the rest of this stuff goes to storage, except for this piece here. City Park. City Park. They just got these new benches in here. They're pretty nice. Pretty nice. Lost my virginity in that old outhouse right there. We're at my cousin Tommy's house. He uh, he works on old vehicles and stuff for people. He's my mechanic. He's one of the best mechanics I know. And he said the head out of this car is out of it. That's why I had to buy that other one. So now I gotta put some water in this so I can make sure I get home. So the head gasket's out in this car so I gotta put water in it to make sure we get home and it don't overheat. Luckily I can sacrifice my family's drinking water to make sure we can make it home with this busted old car. If any of you are looking to buy a car, I have one I would sell cheap. Okay, we're gonna have to jump it. Thanks, sweetie. If you do buy this car, you might want to get a new battery. Got it. Oh, sounds mean. All right, so now I got to get going before this thing overheats on me. When I would drive it about 65, 70, it wouldn't overheat. Once I was idling, if I stopped to like at a stop sign or a stoplight, that's where it typically had its issues. So I'm just trying to basically limp it back to the house so we can park it for the winter basically. As you can see it has 193, well yeah, 193,432 miles on this beast so it's done me it's done me pretty good 
So I'm basically gonna um, just park it for the winter and then I will drive it next summer until it probably blows up on me. I also wanted to point out that you gotta have the sweet grass up in the windshield so you don't wreck. That's an old Indian trick right there. Now I need to charge this battery up since I'm gonna drive it all week until I get that windshield fixed. Sorry, kitty. Hey, kitty. We call this Tigger. Just kidding. I never held that cat before in my <laughs> life. We named this Hunter. We named this cat. Hunter? Yes. All right. Well, he got it from Dylan. Its name is Hunter. <laughs> All right. Hunter. Now we're going to go get a motorcycle. All right. So I brought my motorcycle for my buddy to drive. And it don't look like he even moved it since I brought it to him about a month and a half ago. So I'm a little sad that he didn't get to drive it. Because I was hoping if he drove it a little bit, it would convince him to buy one. But I guess not. So anyways, it's getting closer to, to winter. It's the fall now. So I'm going to take it home and put it away. Baby, we live. Ethan wants to start using the wood stove, so we're gonna go cut some wood, huh, Dylan? Yes. And he locked the door so we can't get in. Hurry up, Ethan. Now, I'm no pro at cutting trees down, so. No, no judgment on my form or anything. Remember, you gotta have safety glasses, that's important. Easy. We got a bunch of trees we need to cut down, so it's a good thing. It's a good thing that we have a need for firewood. All right, I'll show you guys how to cut this branch down with just your bare hands. You guys watching? <laughs> 